Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another MX vs ATV All Out video here on the channel. Now, before we get any further in the video, what I need you guys to do is go down, smash that thumbs up button for me, go down into the comments, type Goonzig. Just type Goonzig in the comments, leave a comment down below if you guys want. Check out the Once Company, Oppose Nothing, Conquer Everything, linked in the description down below. If you guys are new around here, a subscribe would be much appreciated. I'm uploading almost daily, so stay tuned guys, you don't want to miss a video. Now you guys may be wondering, what am I going to talk about today? What is the topic of today's video? Actually, most of you probably already know because of the title of the video. But we'll just pretend like you guys have no clue. Today what we're going to be talking about is... Five things that MX vs ATV All Out has done good. Five good things about the game. Is it possible? I think we can do it. So, once again, this is just going to be kind of like a rant, a talk video, and it's kind of my personal opinion. You guys don't have to agree, you don't have to disagree. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, and I think without further ado, let's get in to talking about MX vs ATV All Out. Alright guys, welcome back to Goonzig's newsroom. I've got this green screen man and I haven't even used it for anything like, I mean, the littlest bit of creative. Like, nah man, I haven't been creative with the green screen at all. So I was actually thinking about maybe doing like a news series and I don't know, setting up like a news, Goonzig's news broadcasting studio and doing like my Moto news series or something like that. I think it would be pretty cool, but that's besides the fact. Today we are here and we are going to talk about five cool things, five good things with in MX vs ATV All Out. So I think we just got to get right in to talking about these five things. The first thing on the list that I want to talk about, and this thing can go a long way in my opinion. Updates guys. Updates are huge. If you can keep bringing content to your game, keeping things fresh, you're going to be able to hook your player base and keep people coming back for more. And this is one thing that I'm pretty sure it's Rainbow, right? Rainbow Studios? Rainbow Studios has developed MX vs ATV All Out. I could be completely wrong, but they have killed it. They have done an absolutely killer job with pushing updates in, in new content, in DLC, and that's something to talk about later on. But the updates within MX vs ATV All Out are insane. There is always new stuff to do within the game, new features to try out. They just recently added a drone mode. I mean, the game's been out for, like, I'm pretty sure over a year, right? Let me look this up. So yeah, the game came out March 27th of 2018, so it has been out for over a year, and we are still getting updates to improve the quality of the game and to make it more enjoyable for us players. We recently just got the drone mode and a new camera angle, and man, the game is just getting better and better and better a year after its release. Like, I don't think you can really complain about that. Updates, MX vs ATV All Out and updates go hand in hand, man. They, they absolutely kill it. The updates can go such a long way. It keeps the game alive. It keeps the game going. So they have definitely done a good job on that side of things. Now on the topic of updates, I think this is number two and I think... It needs to be talked about. DLC content, downloadable content, man. MX vs ATV All Out has a ton of fun DLC. We have the Slash Compound, we have the Goat Farm, we have a bunch of different tracks, Arena Cross tracks, Nationals, Bikes, you know, you got your Yamahas, your KTMs, actually I don't even know if there's KTMs in the game. There are brand name bikes you can buy within the game, so there is a ton of DLC content. now. My one issue with this, guys, and I bet you you guys know where I'm going with this, is the price. We have these amazing DLCs available, like Ricky Carmichael's Goat Farm, Slash's Factory, or whatever it's called, with, you know, like, Slash-themed tracks. We have all of these, you know, top brand manufacturer bike names that you can go ahead and buy, but... The problem is, it's like $3 for a bike, it's like $8 for a track pack, and that adds up. It, it really does. Like, when the game is already released with so much content, you go ahead and start throwing this DLC into the mix, and it costs a lot. So by the end of it, the game ends up costing 
quite a bit. The one cool thing is now, I mean, the game isn't that much anymore, so I mean, I guess that's a bonus. But personally, I do find the DLC a little pricey. It is a little pricey, but it brings new stuff to the game, new content, and it kind of ties in to the update side of things. They're always bringing new content to the table, and there's new stuff for the players to experience. Now with that being said, it kind of leads me in to number three. So yes, there is a ton of DLC, they're pushing a ton of updates. Both of those things, they are doing fantastic. Now, the game itself came with a ton of launch content. We have a ton of bikes, a ton of tracks, a ton of stuff to do. Free ride, there's Omnicross, there's freestyle, there is so much to do within the game that you can almost never get bored. And that's why I think the DLC is almost not really necessary. It's kind of like a bonus. They absolutely kill it with the DLC and provide so much content for the players, yet the stock game, the original game, came with a ton of stuff to do. I really do think MX vs ATV All Out has like the best variety of content within a motocross game. You got dirt bikes, you got quads, you got UTVs, you can go free ride, you can race freestyle, you can do supercross, you can do like a ton of different things within the game and it is unreal. I mean they even have two strokes man, two strokes in this game, that's iconic. But moving on from there guys, I want to talk about the community. Rainbow, MX vs ATV All Out, their Twitter, it is unreal. It's insane how active they are over on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. They're always interacting with the community, seeing what people are saying, reposting stuff that people have posted. It's insane, man. It's actually crazy how interactive they are with the community, and it shows that they care. They appreciate the fan base, and, and they know what's going on, what their fans are feeling, what their fans want, and it's just cool to see that, you know, the corporation behind the game is actually, you know, showing that they're people too. They can interact with, with us players, eh, normal, normal people. But them being there, interacting on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, it shows that they care, and it makes, I mean, us as players feel appreciated. So I think MX vs ATV All Out, that, that's another thing they have going for it. The community is unreal. Now finally guys, the final thing I wanna talk about are the graphics. The graphics within the game are killer. In my mind, the whole entire color scheme is Poppin. It's a very vibrant color scheme and it kind of strays away from like the dull vibe of Monster Energy Supercross. The MXGP, the Milestone games, they're, they're kind of like, they're kind of dull. You can't deny it. They're kind of like a dull vibe. Even though the graphics are really good in those games, they, they are kind of dull and boring and, and they kind of bring you down. But MX vs ATV All Out is kind of like this red and white theme. It kind of pops. The colors are really vibrant. When the sun's shining in game, it is just like, I, I don't even know. The, the colors they use are just so good man so vibrant they pop and it's just good man I love the way this game looks the environment the menus everything man it just looks so good so MX vs ATV All Out I would say is one of like in my opinion the best visually appealing MX games so that is pretty much my list on five things that MX vs ATV All Out did good if you guys agree, if you disagree, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys have on your mind down below in the comments. And guys, I just want to take this moment to do an honorable mentions section, okay? You guys love the physics. I, I know the community loves the physics within MX vs ATV All Out. Now, me personally, I'm not a huge fan. I think the physics are a little too free and floaty and I'm just not a huge fan. Now, with that being said, a lot of people love how they have freed up the whip within the game and you actually have a ton of bike control. Like I said, I think maybe like a little too much bike control, but you do have the bike control. The physics are okay. The in-air bike control is unreal and a lot of people love that. So I figured I would mention that one here. And I mean, it's personal preference. I don't know why I don't like it. I prefer kind of like the more realistic side of things and the game It's fun. I love playing it. It's just not my favorite. But that doesn't mean it is a bad game at all I love the game. I have a ton of fun playing it and I'm trying to bring it back onto the channel and show you guys some more MX vs ATV All Out gameplay and do some more videos on the game because it is a good game. I don't want to get stuck just playing like one game. You know, I've been playing Supercross a lot recently and even if I have to take the hit in views, I don't care, man. I just want to have fun. I don't want to get burnt out on making like the same type of video every single 
day. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Check out the Wands Company link in the description. And, I mean, other than that, guys, that is it. Five things MX vs. ATV All Out did good complete. Peace out.